Queen Camilla made her feelings about her custom coronation gown known after a lip reader analyzed her comments. Following the coronation ceremony the newly crowned king and queen returned to Buckingham Palace to greet royal fans on the famous balcony. The royals treated those on the mall to two appearances, the first joined by senior working royals and the second alone. And it seems Camilla's dress was suitable for the occasion as a lip reader caught her telling Charles, can please let him warm enough. Lip reader Elizabeth Taunton caught the comments as the two chatted on the balcony, the mirror reports. Queen Camilla's dress was designed by British fashion designer Bruce Oldfield, who has been designing for her for over a decade. The ivory dress featured gold and silver embroidered wildflowers said to represent the king and queen's love of nature. The names of the queen's beloved Jack Russell Terriers, Beth and Bluebell were also spotted by Eagle Eyes fans. And lastly, her children, Tom and Laura, and grandchild Freddie, Gus, Louis, Eliza and Lola were embroidered among the design the king and queen were joined on the balcony by senior working royals including the Prince and Princess of Wales and their children, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. The Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh and their children Lady Louis and James, Viscount Severn were also present. After stepping down from royal duties Prince Andrew and Prince Harry did not join them. Tens of thousands lined them all in the hope of catching a glimpse of their favorite royals during the RAF fly past, but unfortunately, plans had to be altered due to the overcast conditions, meaning it wasn't safe for all planes to fly. Buckingham Palace said the King and Queen were deeply touched by the nation's celebrations, which continued for several days. Festivities continued on Sunday with the big lunch followed by the star-studded coronation concert at Windsor Castle, attended by both Charles and Camilla. A palace spokesman said, Their Majesties were deeply touched by the events of yesterday and profoundly grateful both to all those who helped to make it such a glorious occasion, and to the very many who turned out to show their support in such numbers in London and further afield. Don't miss! Monaco's Prince Albert telling insight into Charles' nerves before coronation, King Charles' London home is full of tributes to intimate family moments, Prince William pays touching tribute to Diana at Palace Garden Party, celebrations continued through to Tuesday when the Prince William and Kate, Princess of Wales, and Prince and Sophie, Duchess of Edinburgh, attended a garden party at Buckingham Palace. 8,000 people were welcomed into the grounds for the event, which celebrated the work of volunteers, military personnel and members of the public. One of those attending was Dame Elizabeth Watts, 93, who told the Prince of Wales how she has seen three coronations and slept on the pavement for three nights to see his grandmother, Queen Elizabeth II's coronation, 